Say hello. Say hello. You're two months old. Are you two months old now? Are you? Yay. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a two month baby update for Baby Ocean. She is currently over there asleep and I'm trying to get this done before she wakes up and before the children run upstairs and realise that I'm filming. So again, I asked you guys if you had anything you wanted to ask. So I'm going to start with answering those questions first. And then if I've missed anything out, I will do that at the end. Can you see what kind of curl type Ocean has? To be honest, it isn't really, really curly. Hi, babe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Put it in there it's hot. Oh, thanks. Did the boys not want the pasta? Mother does. Oh, Ozzy doesn't. doesn't. Oh, thank you, babe. Did you want the pasta? It's right. We can share it. I'm alright, mate. Thanks, bubs. It's a nice lunch. <laughs> okay, so curl type. At the moment, I would say that there's not that much curls visible at the moment but when her hair does get wet you can see like little curls at the top here obviously she's quite bald at the top still so she's not really got any space for curls to grow there now but at the back it's quite long and that bit's straight but i do remember oscar he had a really varied hair type from little so he had straight at the back and like a few curls at the top but nothing really so i'm really not sure what her hair is going to be like at all from when milo was really really young like a few months old he had like a curl Mohican and he was bald around here so actually he's the opposite to Osh because Osh is obviously bald on here and hair around here I told you they're gonna find me <laughs> okay next question how does she interact with her brothers she is literally in love with her brothers so her brothers are absolutely besotted by her I'm not joking when I say Miles and I hardly get a look in the time when I can really really enjoy Ocean by myself is when those two go to bed and obviously I'm putting her to bed and feeding her those are the most precious times but other than that, those two, Milo and Oscar, are all over her, which is really, really nice. Um, I realistically wouldn't want it any other way. So The shell is too scaly. That's not my... Mummy, the star, the necklace, is too soft. And I really noticed now in the second month of her being here that she's just becoming a lot more observant and she's like looking everywhere on your face and she's really reacting to Milo and Oscar. She really, really smiles at them and like coos at them now and it's just so sweet. I just, yeah, it's just really lovely. What's Ocean's personality like? She is so chill, like so, so chill. Obviously, if we was in lockdown with a very whingy baby, that wouldn't be the most ideal but she is really really content and she's just really really happy you okay my i'm just trying to get the keys to go out um okay sorry so yeah so she is really really chill and she's just really really happy and she just i'm just we're just really lucky basically she's just very very content how has it gone so fast i know literally it's gone so fast and i feel like because we're so busy of trying to sort the house out as well it's going even faster and i don't know about you guys but even though i'm in lockdown i felt like the days would go really slow but actually it's like 12 o'clock now and i just feel like in three hours say for instance I'm going to be preparing the dinner so i think because the children are at home all the time you're always like planning what you're going to be doing so our days go so fast weeks go by fast months go by fast everything's going fast so someone said an update on how the transition from two to three children is so last month i said that this was my hardest transition and to be honest i still stand by that just because of time like we have no time to dedicate solely to ocean for example because we're trying to help oz and Maya. now milo is nine years old so he is a lot more independent and i really have noticed the age difference between having oscar milo was five years and four months and oscar was just short of four years old so i've really noticed the difference 
of the capabilities of understanding that mummy needs to feed the baby or mummy needs to do something with the baby. Milo was a lot more understanding and Oscar is really, really understanding but doesn't get the concept as much, for example. And he initially really, really thought that Ocean could play with him last month. But now, this month, now that she's two months old, he really, really understands that Ocean's type of play is talking to her and singing to her and like showing her teddy bears and stuff like that. So he's really, really grasped it now. I'd say in the last month, he's literally bloomed as a big brother. He's amazing. How does she nap with the boys being at home? So I would say in the first month she was napping, we was putting her upstairs to nap in her crib. But now, actually, she just sleeps downstairs now and she's really got used to the noise. She does sometimes get startled. You know that thing where they go like that? You know, like when they're sleeping and then they go... Like, she still does that sometimes, like, if, if the kids are, like, banging or something like that. We try not to say to Milo and Oscar, if Ocean's downstairs sleeping, like, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, because that's their space to be loud and have fun. If Ocean is upstairs sleeping, we do say try and be considerate, because if Milo and Oscar was asleep, we would obviously be quiet as, as adults. Obviously, Ocean can't be quiet because she's a baby, but we would be considerate, and I think that's what it's about, being considerate for your siblings. How is she getting on with Ewan the sheep? Yep, she really, really likes the sheep. She doesn't fall to, fall to sleep with the sheep, but she likes it to listen to and play with, if that makes sense. So, yes. Does she have a favourite in the family? To be honest, I wouldn't say she's got a favourite in the family. She smiles and coos at us. She is yet to laugh. And I think we're all hoping that we're going to be the ones who make her laugh. So, we don't know. Her bath time routine, she's being bathed every other day, is working well with us. And she's going to bed about 7.30 and then she is waking up at about 4am, which we're really, really pleased with. What are you using on her skin? So basically, initially we was just using, let me get it for you. Okay, so initially we was using this coconut oil now with oscar we did actually just use the cooking coconut oil which you can find on the supermarket shelves but miles finds it really hard to get his hands into the cooking coconut oil so we went for this again obviously it is more expensive than the cooking coconut oil but then we noticed but then we noticed that ocean started getting like a rash um around her face area and around her neck so we introduced this epiderm ointment of which we used with Oscar when he had a really, really bad eczema flare up from allergic reactions to antibiotics. So I knew that this ointment was really, really good. And what I did is I ordered this size first to see if her dry skin improved with it and it has so we're definitely going to be ordering a larger size of this so i put the epiderm on her body and then i use the coconut oil on her hair basically and everything's fine now okay so i just wanted to say a few things about ocean without the questions now so in month two we have introduced ocean to a dummy and it is something that we've never had to deal with because milo sucked his thumb from as young as i can remember and he had a bunny rabbit that he used to so he used to suck his thumb and rub the bunny ra rabbit's ear on on his nose and then oscar never needed any type of type of suva he just went straight to sleep by himself but ocean we have given her a dummy because all she wants to do is suck 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 so it's been really really helpful we don't don't use the dummy because of crying reasons for example we use it when she's tired so when she's tired all she would want to do is suck 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 and it's just really helped us being able to actually I know that she's tired so actually it's just been really really helpful I know that she's been fed and now she's tired and she can't self settle without the dummy so I pop the dummy in and then I put her into her crib and then she falls asleep or in the day if I know that she's tired I'll pop the dummy into her mouth and then she falls to sleep now of course she is only two months old so that means that sometimes the dummy does pop out so and then she might wake back up and you have to put it back in now that is the bugbear 
there about the dummy scenario I'm not going to lie so of an evening i would pop the dummy in at like 7 30 put her down and i feel like of an evening that's the time when she's going to spit it out more so sometimes it takes like 30 minutes of putting it back in and then eventually when she's just tired enough she'll pop it out and then she'll sleep until four o'clock so yeah i'm we're really really happy with that another thing that i wanted to say was that I've really, really noticed that Ocean has really started to be really interested in toys. She's got her lovely play mat that we've been gifted. And she is just really, really enjoying playing at the moment. Which, in her terms, is laying there, looking at colourful things, listening to music. She really, really likes all of those types of things. Also, some people did actually ask about sleep patterns. So, as I said, she wakes up at about four. I'll feed her and then she'll go back to sleep for a few hours. She is an amazing sleeper. And I know some people hate it when you talk about how good of a sleeper your child is. But this is the truth. She is a good sleeper. We're really fortunate that she likes sleep. So, it's funny because it's okay for you to complain about how bad your child sleeps. But people don't want to hear how good your child sleeps. My child sleeps good. So very lucky so she'll wake up have a feed go back to sleep for a few hours then she'll be awake for a few hours actually like playing and being interacted with and then she'll go back for an for sleep and she's just really really good basically i really can't complain okay so ocean had her jabs yesterday and i was really really worried about her going into like a medical setting but i just wanted to make people aware the doctors and the nurses and everything were really, really good. They all had full PPE on. We had phone calls before we even went to the doctors and they basically spoke through everything they needed to speak through. Well, what they would usually ask in a normal appointment. So instead of keeping you in the room for, for a long time, they did every, most things over the phone. And then when we got there, it was just injections and just checking the eyesight and stuff like that. So please don't worry about taking them for their jabs. Also, we are still weighing Ocean at home and I definitely would recommend getting a scales because your health visitor will ask you how much they weigh. But if you don't want to purchase a baby scales, you could also just use a normal scale. So you, put, you, you stand on, on kg obviously, and then you get on with the baby and then obviously minus and work out how much they weigh because they do ask. In regards to Ocean's jabs, she didn't get a really high temperature. I think the most it went up to was like 30. 7.2 so it's not actually a proper temperature and the doctor did say that when you come out give her cowpole and then give her cowpole again in another four hours and do that three times and then if her temperature is still high within another 24 hours she can have one more dose so she hasn't had that other dose because she's absolutely fine Obviously now we are entering her third month of her life, which is absolutely insane. She is currently wearing, she's currently just gone into naught to three month clothing. But having said that, yesterday she wore a three to six month dress. And I think that's because obviously you're not going to notice if it's baggy on her ankles or baggy on her waist. It's just onto her shoulders and then flows. So she wore a three to six month outfit yesterday from Zara, which is really, really cute and is over on my haul if you want to check it out. A lot of people have asked me about what it's like having a girl. And I did say this last time, but it's pretty much the same. I'm having fun buying really nice clothes, but equally I do with the other two as well. And obviously they are boys. So yeah i just like shopping okay so i'm gonna end this video now because i really want to go and eat my pasta before ocean wakes up for milk but yes so i hope you like my video please 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 give me a thumbs up like subscribe and i will see you again soon don't forget if you want to see any particular videos let me know and i might be able to do them bye bye